my name is Steve Main, and I am a Renaissance gamer. I play a little bit of everything, and everything I play with just a little bit of skill. I'm going to play Hearthstone again today. I'm in ladder mode. I'm shooting for level 15, which is thus far my best. Uh, I'm at 16 right now. I am currently a questing adventurer. And uh, let's head in. I'm going to use my uh, hunter, hunter deck. Um, I, I guess from my understanding of the terminology to control deck, it tries to keep my uh, opponent's minions off the battlefield while beating the, them to death with my creatures and weapons. So. Let's see how we do here. And then of course my hunter power helps a lot with that. Being able to just shoot my opponent for two points of damage is a huge benefit at any point. So let's see what happens. I'm going to be playing a worthy opponent. And that worthy opponent is Zero Quicksilver. So let's see, what do I want? I'm going to keep the Eagle Horn Bow. I'm going to th throw back the Azure Drake because it costs five. And I like the Snake Trap later on, so I'm going to put that on. I think it's better as a later game card. Snipe is an excellent early trap. Oh, and there it is again. Greetings, traveler. So, I don't have anything to do here, but next round I'm going to drop a snipe, which means if he plays a creature, it's going to take four points of damage and die. He probably now has a snipe playing Mind Vision to look at my hand, to get a card from my hand. So... Let's see what he gets. And of course the Azure Drake is back because that wasn't necessary. Okay, so he also has a snipe, so whatever I play is going to die. So there we go. Hmm. So how do I want to do this? If I play a creature, it's going to get killed. Oh, there's his second mind vision, so he now has another copy of one of my cards. Let's see what I'm going to get here. Oh, the starving buzzard. I don't really want to use that here. So we're both desperately trying not to trigger the other guy's snipe. <laughs> okay, let's trigger this. He's going to kill it, which, you know. I was willing to sacrifice one buzzard as I already had one. So, as I still had one, I should say. Oh, interesting. So that's actually going to live through this, having... And... What does he do? He's going to hit me for two. Yes. this. I'm going to run into this sucker, because... And there we go. I'm going to hang on to the buzzard. It's too easy to kill with only one health. And it's mostly... I use it mostly to be able to draw cards, so... Since I don't have anything that goes with it, no other beast cards in my hand. was nicely used. Let's see. The Azure Drake get a card draw out of that. Another explosive trap. I'm not going to play that now because he doesn't have any creatures up. 
this goes off if uh, my my character is attacked by something. And as I said, as he doesn't have any creatures in play, I don't see. That's it. There's two. And holy smite. Eh, not bad. Hmm. Let's see. Let's, uh. No. This is, it'll kill it outright, but it's, it's for something bigger. Mm -hmm. I to load. Use the last charge on the Eaglehorn Bow and play another Eaglehorn Bow. If he attacks me, this will go back into his hand and become a six cost minion, making it slightly less effective. This is becoming far more powerful than it needs to be. And I think this will deadly shot. Because I don't have a way to deal six points of damage right off. So I have one of the combos, the Starving Buzzard, and Unleash the Hounds. If my opponent gets a significant amount of creatures out, this is a good play to draw cards, unleash the hound, summons a series of 1-1 one, one dogs with charge, or beasts with charge, and the starving buzzard will give me the ability to uh, draw a card for each one of those if it's on the field first. Hmm. Well, let's get rid of this guy. throw that out. I need to start doing damage to him and the buzzard. Yeah, that was what I was afraid of. Out another bow. So this is a nice one. It does five damage, but I don't take damage from running into stuff, which helps a lot. I could throw down the misdirection, but he hasn't actually made it to attack me. So this is going to eat one charge on my bow. Ooh, and he just forgot that. <laughs> that didn't quite Not hit the point. <laughs> he forgot that this turned his heal into damage, so he actually hit himself for two points. <laughs> uh, oh. I got one of my arcane shots. Let's draw a card here. Draw something else. Let's hit him. And fire.
So he can't heal these guys because this is out. You can do two to me. That's nice. Well played. Yeah, and then he'll hit me with the bow. Nicely done. I didn't realize the uh, priest worked on these as well that way, so that's actually something interesting to learn. So. Alright, well let's grab another game here. So that went pretty well. That was an interesting deck. Um, I think it was just a control deck. Just kind of hang on to the board and keep it going. I don't know. Yeah, I probably should have killed his two guys instead of expecting the explosive trap to do it. But Rexa versus Valira. So, I'm up against Bob 5, the Rogue, so this is going to be a very fast run right at me. I'm going to throw back the Starving Buzzard. Rogues tend to have a lot of low hit point minions, so I am going to hang on to the Explosive Trap. And I'm going to throw back the Kill Command for right now. See if I can't get a, a little bit of card draw. Ugh. Not what I was hoping for. So, let's throw this out and get a card. Yeah, snake trap. So, this is actually a pretty entertaining combination, and I will tur probably save that for turn four. So next round, this is actually going to be really great with the bow. Is uh, the buzzard, when a uh, beast is summoned, draws me a card, and the snake trap, if something attacks one of my minions, uh, summons three snakes. So so yeah, let's, uh, let's throw that out and see what happens. And when the secret goes off, it'll recharge my bow. So, will he go after the buzzard? Well, let's find out. So, ah. Uh, well, that is a great way to get around that. Deadly poison and attack me. Ooh. Now see, I would have summoned a new knife first. The Brotherhood shall come neat. Well, I understand why you didn't summon a new knife. That does not help me at all. So Let's see. Well, we're going to do that. Okay, so this is clearly a rogue throw Van Cleef out as quickly as possible. Um, he is the wonderful ability that every card you play before him gets plus two, plus two. Gives him plus two, plus two. He's very cheap to throw out. So, with everything they just threw into play, they were able to... Oh, 
So, misdirection means he will hit something else on the board. Most likely, the rogue. And hopefully buy me a chance to get one of my, uh, my uh, deadly shots, which will kill anything in a single hit. <laughs> or another misdirection would be awesome. Either one. Well, Perdition's Blade, nicely filed. And head crack for two. Uh, well, this is disappointing by a large slide. Um, I can do seven points of damage. I need to do nine. Or five to him. Seven to him. Well played. Well fought. Oh. Oh, what a disappointing swing. And I am... Sliding back here a little bit. Alright, well, let's try one more game. See what happens. Well, theoretically, I should have an opponent by now. <laughs> oh, here we go. An opponent. And a worthy opponent. This is being played by Ragha. I'm gonna be going up against the warrior deck. So let's see. I'm gonna throw back the two really expensive cards. And let's see what else we get. Okay, snipe. Yeah. I like snipe at the beginning, especially against Greasy this sort of thing, man. so. so let's see what happens. Fiery War Axe. Pretty, yeah, a little snipe. That's pretty standard. Throwing out a fire, uh, fiery war axe just to punch your opponent in the face. That's this could be any warrior deck ever. Ah, excellent. I hate the frothing berserker. Well, I mean, it's a really good card. It gets a uh, plus one attack for every point of damage any minion on the field takes. So that was actually pretty lucky for me getting to just drop it like that. And we'll draw a card. Well, oh, freezing trap. Nice. Ah, try this. Okay, and this is where the warrior's deck works, is they just go after all of the uh, their opponent's cards. Let's see. That they got. For the war tree. Ah, Corcron Elite. Hmm. Well, let's do this and get rid of that. Not doing great, I'll admit. I'm already to 11. It's only turn 5. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. So. Nice. Hmm. Let's 
throw that out. And shoot him for two. I think this is my best option. It's not a thrilling option, because if he attacks me, he's going to become a 5, but if he hits this... Yeah. They are bent to my command! Ah! Well, good, then. I'm glad I played the explosive dragon. thing. Right. So I'm starting to get my feet under me now. Let me actually... Yeah. What else has he got? More armor. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to get rid of him, but that'll get me a card, so I'm not terribly broken up about it. Let's see, let's Hello, throw her out. And let's play misdirection. Fire and arrow. <laughs> and oh yeah, let's hit him. Uh, go how? He's gonna hit my one one. Creatures to put on the board. I can do this though. That may be a mistake. These two kind of counteract each other. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna kill me now without a misdirection on the board to make him go after something else. Ah, very disappointing. Ah, oh well. Well, that's it for today's video. I wish it could have been more impressive than that. Uh, I'll see you folks tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.